right, a forward view towards um, the lizard, which is the well, we're in the in the large bay which contains uh, first of all Mausel, and then let's point around towards Mausel. Right, Mausel is over there. This is the point where we came round last night. Next one along, which is where we stopped, is Newlin, and we'll go up onto the deck, past the captain. It's Captain Liz. Say good morning. Good morning. Right. Newlin is in the distance there, where we stayed last night, moored up, or yeah, anchored rather. We didn't moor. Um, the distance there is to the right of that is Penzance. Only about a mile, two miles round. And round to the right, or round to the east, is St Michael's Mount in the distance. Which is up there. Um, coming around still a little bit further. Unfortunately, it's straight into the sun. It is the point we're aiming for, which is the lizard. Not sure if I can see this at all, but and across the area there, to the area around towards Land's End, which was the way we came yesterday. What's the headland there, David? That Dern Rock. Sorry? Gurn or Garn, wasn't it? Yeah. <coughs> Garn 2. Garn 2. Garn 2. Yeah. It's had to do with the lighthouse. It must be something else. Right. Proper Cornish name. Garn 2. Do it separately. Yeah, yeah. And it's what? It's 20 to 9. And we reckon low water would have been about half six, seven o'clock. But not a bad morning, Sunday morning, 2nd of June, I think it is. Still a bit chilly, but uh, very pleasant. Right, that'll do for the moment. Quarter past twelve and we've just come round the lizard. Uh, or lizard point, which is where the lighthouse is up there. I'm not sure if I can pick it up and see if I can close in. Wind's dropped away completely now, hasn't it? Yes. Is that a cruise ship or is that a big container ship? It, it can't see the containers. It's the, it's the usual windows going down the sides or some sort of smacking. Yeah, no, that's not a cruise ship. convoy of boats coming up from uh, well sort of Falmouth area um, and possibly Foy I don't know 
Yeah, not quite sure what's going on here, but anyway, we're making our way down towards the next headland, which is round the corner from the area of the Manacles and uh, Helford River, I believe. So somewhere down there must be Truro and Falmouth. The time is 1.30, 1.35, and we're just approaching the manacles. So we're having a spot of, uh, spot of whatever people have at uh, 1.30 in the afternoon. A couple of sausage rolls, a cup of coffee. And we just buy, the, as did I say, the manacles? That's the point that I nearly put David on earlier, uh, when we first came down here a few months ago, a few years ago rather. Um, panning round towards Dodman Point in the distance. Which boy is that? Is that an East boy? No. The boy that's marking down there, the Cardinal boy, yeah, is that yeah. East? East Cardinal boy. And so the Helford. Is that the entrance to the Helford over there, David? Right, Would that be the entrance to the Helford River over there? That sort of yeah, area, yeah, yeah. yeah? In the distance. Well, I think the Helford. Where those dark in the dark bit, yeah. Not the dark part. Thank you, Brian. Okay. Why is that door? Don't know. Up there, I think it's called Co Coverack Cove. And then beyond Dodman Point, I think is never guessing. So off to my left, I don't know if I can see it from here, don't I? I don't know if that's Falmouth. I'm quite sure where Falmouth is there. I think that's Truro. Not sure. I have to check up on the map. Right. 6.45 in the evening and we're just coming up to Foy. Out the door. <laughs> Not myself here. <laughs> oh. about a little bit. There's some problems with the head so again. Um, trouble furling it for some reason. It's jamming. But uh, we'll sort that out when we're out of the wind, I think, a little bit. Uh, had this fella coming along, con gradually converging with us on Foy. That's Dodman Point, round to the behind us. And remember, you see, is over there, more or less into the sun now, I think. And. Day mark on the top of the hill, and over to the left is St. Austell. 
Oops. Head up to the right is Foy. And I'll turn this off because it's blowing a hoolie and we'll get a bit more when we're actually in the river. Right, we have arrived at Foy. There's a water taxi. Yeah, it's Monday, 3rd of June, it's uh, 10 past 8, we got away from Foy at 8 o'clock and uh, just come out and just shaped the course for 2 miles south of Dark Point, which is 40 miles away. And that should get us into the Dartmouth later on today. doing a lot of sailing today I don't think there you go ten past nine and we're just off Paul Perro and uh, that Talon Bay A little bit further on is Lou Island. Can we focus on Lou Island? No, I don't think so. But no, anyway. Making reasonable progress, about four and a half knots, five knots, straight into the wind. But it's a nice morning. Can't be bad. That's where we're going from. Oh no, over there, right. Right in the distance, about there, should be the keeper of the Eddystone Lighthouse. He's a long way out, but that's the sort of track.
it's just gone half past three on the afternoon of the third and we've just taken a slight diversion to come into Salkham possibly to or probably to refuel would be a good idea because we're not absolutely sure if we're going to motor all night uh, just to make sure that we got enough basically but this looks nice the wind's eased off a little bit Nice little anchorage over there, where the fishing man is, or where the fisherman is. Fishing boat behind us, a couple of sailing yachts coming in. the wind all the way on the nose so we haven't had the sails up at all further up in Salkham Harbour. Bar where those yeah. rocks are. That's enough to enough to bar your way, isn't it? Rocks right there. Boat coming down. Let me leave it down your port down side. Follow these green ones. That's marking Wolf Rock. beach to our left.
Right, just filled up with fuel from uh, from the fuel barge, which is that blue barge back there. Is that the garbage? Is the green one through there? Right, and that is the town of Salcom. Very nice, very pretty looking little place. Ferryman over there takes you across from one side to the other. Nice little beach. Yep, quite impressive. Lobster pops out here. Beautiful little bays. I think Les's confidence must have improved because. Um, this ain't five miles out anymore, is it? Eh? <laughs> hey? <laughs> oh, gotta give it a good off in.
20 to 5 and we're just off start point um, just around the corner from basically Dartmouth but I think we're heading across uh, yeah we're heading straight across Soon be crossing Lion Bay, which will take all of 12 hours. <laughs> <laughs> 